Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have decided to upload a project that I have built about two years ago, three years ago. Um, it is an exhaust manifold for a C32 uh, V6 Honda engine. It was built for somebody else, so I actually don't have the manifold anymore. But I have took loads of pictures um, through the process of manufacturing it um, and design. So basically the design process was basically done around when it was being built on an engine, a block and head. So you can see here at this point um, I was um, matching a flange up to the head of the Honda. Um, I also was ported and polished these heads. So this engine comes in a C, uh, I don't know, what is it again? A Honda Legend um, 1991 car, coupe. So uh, performance manifolds or exhaust manifolds can't be bought for these cars. Um, the engines in these cars sit um, longitudinal. So they sit sort of like uh, back wheel drive and I have uh, uh, converted it, they sit uh, transversely, so it sits like a front wheel drive car engine now and I have modified a K-series box onto it and I needed to make up a uh, manifold, so this is the process. So with the flanges bolted to the heads, both heads, um, I needed to position where or figure out where the down pipes are going to run. Um, below the engine. You can see here in this image where the drive shaft used to run through the sump and the old setup. As it's a V6 engine we required six down pipes. Um, they were all bent in nice shape, uh, roughly 90 degrees bent. Uh, this is the first one tacked on. So not only is this tacked on, it is chamfered to suit the oval at the end of the tube itself. So you can see here at this point, um, one side um, is nearly finished, so there has to be two of these. Um, obviously they're not going to be identical, but some other. So there's three downpipes leading into a two and a half inch uh, downpipe. This will uh, have a flange on it. So there's quite a bit of work in lining this all up. So the pipes had to be squeezed top and bottom to match the head and to match this uh, three of them running into the two and a half inch. So this uh, was squeezed at this point in the middle here. Um, so making sure there was no gaps, uh, so it was tight enough for a nice neat weld. Um, this is the back side of the engine. Um, you can see here the carrier shaft and all had to be made up as this engine is remounted in a different position. Transversely. Um, so here you can see again I'm extending over top of the drive shaft itself. Uh, that is a K-series box of a Type R, Civic Type R, uh, or DC5. Um, you will see now the making of the flanges. So here at this point you can see um, the three of them uh, butted together. So you can see the sort of zigzag steps. Um, this part had to be made nice and neat. So as well as keep an eye on the cut the gaps, I had to keep an eye on the squeezing and the width of it to make sure that it was on the same sides of the downpipes which are inch and three quarter. This is it all tacked together now. You can see the old manifold lying on the ground there. Uh, this is me then uh, working on the, uh, working out the position for the bottom part of the manifold so that basically joins the two, say, two heads together. Uh, this is the flanges um, that are there's on two sides, so there's four plates at the bottom too, two plates at each side, just so you can take the manifold apart when it's in the car, you know. Uh, this is me making the lower end of the manifold, so this is this manifold actually runs inside that two and a half inch to keep a nice sharp curve. There's uh, quite a bit of work in this, working it all out. So this sits below the sump. Boom! Um, this is the manifold um, nearly finished, ready for welding. Um, you can see that it's a nice unique shape. 
So it's ready for the flex, a flex, uh, what do you call it, a flexi, or stainless steel flexi for the, the end of it there too, but haven't got around to putting one on at this stage. Um, so I uh, forgot to mention that this uh, manifold is sitting on a jig, so it doesn't pull when I weld it. I could have kept it on the engine to weld, but the wheels wouldn't have been as neat, so the engine would have been in the way, the block and the heads. So from the each side of the manifold down to where they meet, they are exactly the same length. So now if I was to um, blow on one of them down liners at one side, one side would suck. So that's something that a standard manifold wouldn't do, if that makes sense. So if I push a flow of air through one of them down liners, um, the other five suck. So it's really, really good. It's, it was tested with uh, pneumatic air. So basically it's just a Venturi effect. So this is probably one of the nicest pictures off the exhaust um, when it was finished, well before it was welded, um, mounted to the jig. Um, this is the the complex joint, so this needs to be quite tight, you know, between the the two ends of the pipes and to fit them between the sump. Uh, this is the nice um, cotton of a uh, nice tight button off the pipes, the down pipes, into the down, the main down pipe. Uh, ready for welding soon. Lots of pictures. I took lots of pictures of this manifold. I don't know why, but I just did. A lot of work, I think, was involved in it. So that's me looking down on it um, just before I start welding it, I think. Okay, so this is it, um, more or less, start welding one side. Quite tricky and quite tight to get in around some of these places, you know, there where they meet at the fork, at them two points. Um, obviously it's not welded um, like that. Um, it was welded in the jig, that's me with it took out, off the jig. Uh, the tighter you get them, and there no gaps, the neater the welds, like so. You can also see extenders in there, let's take over the top of the, keep the bands away from the drive shaft itself. Uh, this is the manifold lying on its side with the flexi and the flange on it. So as I said at the start of this video, you can't buy these manifolds for this engine because these, this engine sits the complete opposite direction. Uh, it sits perpendicular to the way it sits at the minute. Uh, another picture on top of a piece of ply, if it's finished. And final pictures um, of the manifold sitting up the way it would sit when it's on an engine. Uh, close up of the complex joint. So this joint actually flows into the other pipe a little bit, uh, by about a quarter inch or half inch. Just to keep that unique C shape, the flow in the same direction uh, as the flow passing. Rather than causing obstruction, you know, them rebounding off each other. And that's it. Thank you for watching. It was a, just a short video to show another project before I up, uh, upload uh, more sophisticated projects in the future. Bye bye.